it's time for another video. Pop, 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 pop music. Does anyone remember that? The, um, the pop-up video from VH1? Did I just age myself? I liked it. I'm not gonna lie. I'm doing a makeup collection today. A friend of mine, wow, let's try this again. A friend of mine and I are in the midst of doing another swap. We did a previous one I'll link here. So round two, I think it'll be twice as better as the first one, which the first one was really good. It went well. I wound up using all of those products in my daily routine a lot. So, and hopefully she enjoyed hers and we figured this time it would be easier for us to do a, a makeup collection video before the um, before the swap so there weren't any items repurchased and I'm not going to give away too many details about the swap because you'll see it when it happens. Numero Uno is my L'Oreal True Match Foundation. This is in the N1 shade, the Soft Ivory. All of my foundations that I wear have to be like um, either neutral or cool tone. I can't have any yellow tones or um, and they just have to be really light as you can tell I'm very fair skinned for concealer I have the hard candy glamouflage and this is in the ultra light shade I love that it works really well I'll probably use that for the rest of my life actually there's a lot of product and you don't need a lot when you use it Okay, another product is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. This is in the light pale shade. And that is, again, another one of the products that I use all the time. CoverGirl Whipped Cream Foundation. This is in 305. There's not a color on it that I can see. And I haven't used this in any of my videos. I'm actually hit pan on this. I usually use this all the time. And I really liked it. I'm not sure why I quit using it. I think my skin got really dry and I needed something more moisturizing. But it's definitely something I'd be interested in repurchasing. I love the whipped foundations, the consistency, and the coverage that I get from them. All me Sharts <laughs> Smart Shade Smart Balance Foundation. And this is more of a tinted moisturizer. I'll wear this if I've got, um, like if I don't have a whole lot of face demons and it's really hot or I know I want to be sweating or something like that. I'll throw this on, but I don't wear it quite often. CoverGirl BB Cream, and this is in the 805 Fair to Light Skin. Again, another BB Cream. I haven't used a whole lot of this. I'm sure I will eventually. Alright, I have the Herbal Concealer from Palladio. I think that's how you say it. I got this from Sally's. I don't really like this. It's really drying. I don't use it. But why do I keep it around? I don't know. Maybe one day I'll find a use. And I also have the Revlon Color Stay. And this is in a shade too dark, actually. I'm not sure what shade it is, but it's too dark. And um, the concealer itself is a good concealer. And it's I like the packaging. It feels really sturdy. But like I said, it's a shade too dark. And I think I only bought it because it was on sale. This is the NYC cover stick, which I cannot stand. It's drying, it's chalky, I don't know why I thought this would work, but I hate it, and yet I still keep it. The e.l.f. lip exfoliator, and I do use this, and I do enjoy it. I'm actually going to leave it out, because I'm doing a whole ritual tonight. Hair and face ritual, and feet and nails, and, and all that good stuff. I'm pretty excited. I also got this in the swap with her. This is the e.l.f. mineral face primer. I use that in nine out of the ten times that I do my makeup I'll use that primer. Before that I use the the Revlon Photo Ready primer and this is their perfecting primer. I don't believe that there's a shade and I do like this. It gives me more of a glowy look as compared to the more matte finish that I feel like I get from this. So they're interchangeable. I have the Magic Anti Redness and I use this just for spot treatments because it's more liquidy and it's not as a silicone primer filling the way I want. So I'll dab it on my cheeks and right here I'll get some redness and I'll dab it there. And then I'll go on about my business. It, Maybelline Baby Skin Primer, which I just realized I don't have the lid for. I just use it on my pores. There's plenty of videos of me using it if you're curious. Go check that out. I don't have as much makeup as I thought that I did, but it's enough for my face, I suppose. Next is my Physician's Formula, 
and this is the mineral wear talc free translucent powder and this is one of my favorites this is my holy grail and I have hit major pan and I'm trying to use the rest of this up before I go buy another one because they are more expensive than uh, the other drugstore brands because it's physician formula but they're gonna get a really high quality product and I use that for my highlighting setting powder wet and wild color icon and this is their bronzer in the reserve your cabana and I use this for a face powder and I really like that Maybelline fit me face powder and I used this before um, before I started making videos and there's just not a whole lot or a whole lot of color payoff I don't think like uh, physicians formula and I don't know what this is Okay, this is the multicolored custom bronzer for blondes, and it broke everywhere, and I never use it, so I'm going to throw it away. <laughs> okay, next is the e.l.f. I Concealer and Highlighter, and I've heard really horrible things about this, but I had to be hard-headed and find out for myself. And if anything, I would use this part as a matte eye primer. And this part for, I don't know, because I haven't even tried it yet, but I'm sure it's just as horrible. They don't blend out very well at all. So if highlighting, like if you just run, it's a doe foot applicator. So if I just run that down here and try to smear it out, I'm literally just going to be left with a white line down my face. It's horrible, but again, I keep it around because I'll find some use for it, I'm sure. This is the Elf St. Lucia, the dupe for... NARS Laguna and Orgasm. I'll use the bronzing side because the blush doesn't give enough payoff. Not that I even use blush a whole lot, but I don't like it. That's the only bronzer that I use that I own that I use, if that makes any sense. Okay, for blush, I use the Wet n Wild Pearlescent Pink. It's Wet n Wild, and this is their Silent Treatment Trio. This is a newer of my eyeshadows. And I also have a Wet n Wild walking on eggshells, as does everyone, right? Alright, I have a single Wet n Wild eyeshadow, and I think this is Creme Brulee. And moving on to Maybelline, this is their Almond Satin Trio. I'm really into, like, nude shadows, nothing too bright or bold or standoffish. You know, my Elf 32 palette, and this is the Everyday palette shade. Elf HD Under Eye Setting Powder. The exact same thing as this for the same price, and it's just a setting powder, translucent. Okay. Elf Eyelid Primer in Pearl, and this is also something that I use all the time. Cover Girl Perfect Point Plus. This is in Blackest Black. It's the mechanical or automatic sharpener whatever for eyebrows I use this um, Femme Couture this is in a light brown again as same as my foundation cool undertones with my eyebrow pencils just so my eyebrows don't come across really orange and uh. elf liquid eyeliner I use that to tight line between my lashes and my false lashes or just by itself sometimes Here's my Femme Contour Perfect um, Arch Brow Gel, which I don't use as much as I used to. It leaves like a shiny residue on my brows and they look fake. It's not cute, so I don't really use that. This is the Rimmel London Scandalize Nude Pencil, and I'll either use this on my eyes or my lips, or even um, as like a spot treatment or, or what have you. It is nude. I see White Pencil for my waterline. And I actually bought another one to use, and I haven't got to use it yet because this is the Roma London Scandalize. Because as soon as I got it, of course, I mashed the top in, and I can't find a sharpener big enough to sharpen this. So I have the Maybelline Falsies, and this is in the blackest black. It's probably my favorite mascara. I have the Roma London Illegal Length Mascara, which is really good for the bottom lashes. I love the brush on that. It's really long and thin, non-clumpy more eyeliner this is the NYC eyeliner pencil and I got it for my lips thinking that it was a, um, a lip liner to mesh it with my um, 
lip gloss, but it's an eyeliner and it's a little too dark, so I may just use it for its intent. And it is in Vampy Violet is the shade of purple of this eyeliner. Covergirl the Perfection Lip Liner in Passion 215. It's a red color. Elf Matte Lip Color in red. Probably one of my favorite lipsticks slash lip liners. Here's my Covergirl At Last Lip Stain. And this is in the shade 402. This is the Maybelline New York Lip Gloss. I think it's like the 24 hour stay or something. I don't know. Why haven't I used this? Do you ever just forget that you own stuff and you're like, wait, why haven't I used you? I don't know. But it's in the color Gleaming. It's just a red lip gloss. It's really pigmented. Wet and Wild. It's in a dark brown or a nude shade. And this is called Bear It All. Roma London lipstick by Kate. And it is in the shade Kiss of Life. And this, I wish I had better packaging, but I love the lipstick. Can't have them both, I guess. This is the Wet n Wild um, Stoplight Red color. And I love that color. It's got blue undertones, so it really makes your teeth look white. Alright, on to the rest of the glosses. This is probably one of my favorite recent purchases. It will definitely make it in my August favorites. It's the Glazed Lip Paint. I'm going to use this a lot more in the fall. Excuse me. And it's so pigmented. If you'd like to see my video on that, I'll link that here for you. Okay, moving on to the next Butter Glosses. And four out of the five that I have were actually sent to me in the first swap. And I love them. I hadn't owned them prior to that swap. And I'm just absolutely in love. The first of the shades is the NYX Butter Gloss. It is in Meringue, and it's a soft pink. The second, Peaches and Cream, and that's just a coral pink color, orangey pink. Next is the Creme Brulee. It's a nude gloss. That's one of the recent purchases. I love that shade. Then I have the NYX Butter Gloss in Strawberry Parfait. And last but not least, which is on my face now, the Red Velvet. And these taste and smell so good. They're all so pigmented. They feel good on your lips. It's not sticky. It's really not over, not like, it's attractive. It, I like it. That's my point. I plan on getting many more shades. It's really quick. I do also have some more of my favorite lashes that I just picked up tonight from Walmart. And I plan on doing um, a couple of videos tonight, hopefully, maybe before I just mess my hair up completely. Maybe I won't even wash it because it's just a process to wash my hair and then let it dry because I don't want to put any more heat on it and I'm rambling, aren't I? Okay, I'm going to go have a me date and watch Roseanne. Thanks for watching as always. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, or suggestions, please feel free to comment below. You could also add me on Facebook, follow me on Instagram. Those links are on my channel page, which I'll link here for convenience. Also, if you'd like to subscribe while you're there, that'd be great too. And if you have anything that you'd like to say to me privately or not on social media, I also have a business email linked on my page. Excuse me. And, um... I think that's all. Thank you all for watching and for finishing this video if you're still here with me now. I'll see you all next time. Bye lovelies.